Hey, this is Perry Belcher here, and I got a friend with me right now, and they're trying to understand sort of how all the social networking things work. And the, the question always comes up as everybody in because I'm in marketing, people know I'm in marketing, and marketing is usually about selling stuff and all that. And yeah, I sell a lot of stuff. But people ask me, you know, what are you doing with all social networking stuff? And how do you, how can I make money with social networking? Is how can I make money with social networking? And the answer is, this is how much money I try to make with social networking. None. Social network is not about making money. It's about making friends, okay? Now, that, everybody's going, oh, that's horse crap, Perry. I know you're trying to make money. Yeah, I always make money, okay? Always. But I make it, in the past, I've used the methods that work. Things are changing. If you don't get that by now, you need to wake up. Everything's changing. Everything's becoming transparent. Everybody's linked together, okay? But the basic, basic sociology doesn't change. It's not complicated, guys. It's just like uh, how we do business in person, okay? If uh, men might understand this more than women do, I'm like, oh, God, I'm scream. But guys, guys are all about, what do you do for a living? Well, I do this. I mean, that's what everybody talks about. So I'm going to show you just real quick how I view social networking and how it affects my business, how it affects my life, okay? <clears throat> this particular friend of mine, uh, it, this particular friend of mine's in the uh, in the real estate investing business. That's a great job. He's amazingly talented, super smart guy, and uh, but he's used traditionally older methods to advertise his products, and he's noticed that there's kind of a change in the landscape. And he's like, "Man, what are you doing?" So basically, I I want to explain my theory, and then, here it is, basically in a nutshell. It's not a lot different than the way business is done on the street or in person. Basically, you got Twitter. Facebook, Pounce, um, gosh, MySpace, YouTube, and I'm, I'm actually subscribed to about 20 other social networking sites. Now, you know how I view these? I view all these like I'm going to a party, okay? Every time I'm on one of these sites, I'm at a party. If I'm on Twitter talking, I'm at a party. Now, if you go to a party, do you just talk about what you do? Do you just walk up to people and go, hi, my name is Perry and I sell stuff. Would you like to buy some stuff from me? You'd be the biggest asshole at the whole party, right? Nobody wants to hear that crap. You talk about life. You talk about what's going on in your life. You talk about your kids. You talk about your family. And maybe somebody comes up to you and says, hey, Perry, you know, I know you're in marketing. Can you help me with this? And you help them, okay? You help them, or you tell them stories, or you try to entertain them a little bit. You know, everything you would do at a party, okay? Just get that in your head. This is a great big freaking party. That's all this is. Okay? Now, the second part of how I view social networking, how I use social networking, is my blog. And to me, the blog is my house. It's my home. It's where I live. It's where I have most of my thoughts, most of my information, stuff that interests me, um, stuff that I want to archive, kids' photos, uh, fun stuff I've done with friends, places I've been, things like that. That's my blog, right? What do you have when you walk into somebody's house? What's the first thing you notice when you walk into somebody's house? Pictures. They're everywhere. People have their family photos sitting up all over the house. It's no different. They've got their house decorated with crap they like. You know, I got a friend right now that has all this Southwest cowboy crap on the house. And it's not my thing, but it's their thing. So when you walk in their house, you kind of know, oh, that guy's into cowboy stuff, that guy's into this. You see the pictures on the wall. Like, I got, I've got autographed pictures of, of uh, boxers. I collect autographs, by the way. You can send me some if you like. If you got autographs of very famous people, you can send those to me. I'll accept them as a nice gift and say thank you. Anyway. The, I, the, I collect autographs. I've got all kinds of autographs from guys like Muhammad Ali and Bill Clinton and uh, Groucho Marx and uh, gosh, all kinds of people. But they're all over my house, so you kind of get what I like, right? So basically, I'm at these parties, and when I meet cool people, you know what I say? Hey guys, sometime, why don't you drop by the house? and see what I'm all about. Okay? 
inevitably, what happens when you go to somebody's house that you don't know, and you're talking to them, you're out by the barbecue uh, grill or whatever, and you don't know them, most guys anyway, now girls, ladies, girls, girls, ladies, you probably start conversations completely different, and to me, you're speaking Martian, because I wouldn't have a clue how women start conversations with other women, and, you know, I, I, I'd love to know, but I don't think I'm ever going to figure you guys out if I live to be a thousand years old, but that's okay. Okay, so guys talk about you know, what do you do for a living? What do you do? What's your thing, right? So basically, that's where the guys go out here and say, well, you know, I teach people about real estate. You know, that's what I do. I kind of, I, I create, I, I go out and, and research material. I do. I plan, I exercise plans, and, I, and then I put them all together in business models for people in the real estate business. Or, you know, and then sometimes when I'm not doing that, you know, uh, I'm, you know, I'm in the internet marketing business, and I sell things online, and I sometimes I even teach people how I sell things online. And at the end, you say, you know, in those conversations. If they're, they, they're going to express an interest or they're not. It might be that you meet people out here on Twitter that come to your blog and find you very interesting but find what you do extremely boring. They don't care. But they like you as a person. And that's cool. Because eventually, here's what happens. What happens when you meet somebody at a party and let's say that you're in the... Let's say you sell uh, pickup trucks. And you meet somebody at a party and they come to your home and they know you sell pickup trucks, but they're never going to buy a pickup truck in a thousand years, right? They drive convertibles or they drive minivans or eco cars or whatever. So, but what happens is they meet you, you tell them, well, I sell pickup trucks and, you know, whatever. Eventually, this person's very liable to run across somebody and they say, man, you know, I need to go buy me a truck today. I've been out looking. And they say, hold on, before you go, I know this really nice guy I met at a party. I went to his house last week, and he told me that he sells pickup trucks and he's got some great deals. You get it? But the difference is, right, this person you meet at a party might know 50 people, 20 people, 10 people they talk to on a daily basis. The people you meet at Twitter and Facebook and Pounce and MySpace and YouTube, they know hundreds of people, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people. So they can get your message out even if the message isn't for them. But don't stick it in their face, okay? Just make friends with people. Help people. Be kind. Be complimentary. Be supportive. That's what they're looking for. Invite them to your house. Give them plenty of free stuff, you know? Give them some dip, you know? Give them some chips. Give them some, give them a burger, you know? That's all content, okay? It's all content. It's stuff about you. It's not necessarily stuff about your business, okay? It's just cool stuff. Gary Vaynerchuk's one of my favorite guys in the whole wide world right now. I put his videos up on my blogs as much as I can because I know he inspires people and helps people. I don't do it because I'm ever going to sell anything at Gary's or Gary's ever going to sell anything of mine. Although I did get a nice thank you note from him. It was pretty cool. But that's not going to that's not going to happen, chances are, and I don't care. The point is, those videos help a lot of people. Therefore, those people like me more. Therefore, when those people out there decide they're going to go in the internet marketing business or they know somebody else is starting a website, they're going to say, you know, I know this guy on Twitter. I've been by his blog and i got all of his stuff and he's really cool. And I know that he sells internet marketing stuff. Maybe you should check him out. Okay? That's how I view this whole process. And that's how I believe it works. And it's not going to change. This has worked the same way for 100 years. The very best people in direct sales businesses, insurance agents, real estate agents, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 attorneys, uh, all socialize. They build their entire businesses from going from party to party to party to party to party, meeting as many people as they can, inviting them to parties at their home, entertaining them, and in turn... Their friends become their customers. And the last step is maybe, maybe after you tell them what you do, they go, well, you know, I don't really need anything like that right now. You might say, how about this? Why don't I put you on my list for my newsletter? 
and you'll get it every now and then. It'll kind of keep you abreast of what I'm doing, and maybe sometime I'll do something that you like, or there'll be something I can help you with. Okay, that's the whole flow of the process. Okay, I hope you get it. I'm done. Thanks.